All right, guys, today we're going over simulations. Uh, let's see, number 11 says a store employee randomly gives scratch-off discount cards to the first 50 customers. The cards offer discounts of 10%, 20%, 25%, 30%, and 40%. With an equal chance of receiving any of the five cards to describe a model that could be used to simulate the discounts received by four customers. <clears throat> well, when they're talking about discounts, they're talking about these discount uh, cards, okay? So uh, if I was gonna do it, I think I would create a spinner. And since there's one, two, three, four, five sides of this, I would say uh, one, two, three, four, five equal sides, and I have a spinner there. Each one of these sides would be one, this maybe the 10, maybe this is the 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 50. And these have, uh, would have to be equal sides, okay? I know it might not look equal, but they would all have to be equal uh, area. And then <clears throat> I would spin um, it says describe a model that could be used to simulate the discounts received by four customers. So <clears throat> I think I would spin it four times and whatever the spinner landed on, <clears throat> um, the first four numbers, I guess, that it would land on, that would represent uh, what customer got what. Like if the first customer landed on 10, and you got the 10% card. Uh, and the second customer, if he came in and it landed on 30, and he had the 30% card. Uh, the third customer might come in, uh, might land on 10 again, so he'd have to roll because 10's already taken. Then uh, he could, let's say it landed on 50. And the fourth customer might come in and it lands on uh, 40. I mean, 20 never got landed on, but uh, the first four customers, right, describe uh, discount received by four customers um, would be done. <clears throat> so um, let's try to go to do number 13 now. Describe a model you could use to simulate each event. Every student who participated in field activities received a water bottle. The water bottle came in two different colors. Based on your simulation, how many students had to receive a water bottle in order to distribute water bottles in both colors. Well, <clears throat> since there's only two possible, uh, it says two different colors, so there's only two possible things. And we'll just say one of them might be blue, one of them might be red, okay? So we need something that can simulate <clears throat> getting one thing or another. Let's just say we use a coin, okay? And we'll just put a coin over here, kind of like that. I know that might not look like a great coin, but we're going to go with it for now. <coughs> and uh, we'll say that heads is blue. Okay, heads are blue. And uh, tails will be uh, red. Okay, heads is blue, tails is red. Uh, so what I do is I would start flipping the coin and uh, I'd have to keep flipping until one heads and one tails came up. And let's just say for the sake of argument, uh, three heads came up and then one tails came up. And I would say the experimental probability that I made, the simulation was, <clears throat> that uh, three customers came in and they got uh, blue uh, water bottles, right? That's what we're talking about here. And then when the fourth customer came in, uh, he wanted the red one, right? So that would be my simulation. <clears throat> Use a coin. Going off to number 15 now, there are four different magazines on Hannah's nightstand. 
each evening she randomly selects one magazine to read. <clears throat> Based on your simulation, how many days must she select a magazine in order to read all four <clears throat> magazines? Well, once again, I would go with the spinner. Why? Because I don't know of too many things that have uh, outcome of four. And uh, I would put, let's see, this could be magazine one, magazine two, magazine three, magazine four. <coughs> and I would keep spinning um, until every magazine got picked. Right? There are four different magazines on Heinz and I said each evening she randomly selects one. Uh, and so if it's random, uh, and it says each night, <clears throat> each evening. So evening number one might be magazine one. Evening two might be magazine four. Evening three just might be magazine two. And then evening four, we might have got magazine four again. Evening five might even got magazine one. Then on evening six, let's say it's fun, and we finally got that last one, magazine three. And now, I say based on my simulation, how many days must she select a magazine in order to read all four? <clears throat> in this simulation, we could say that six days went by. All right? And uh, <clears throat> of course, there's any number of ways you can do these uh, simulations. It's all up to you. Um, and I hope that you find a way that works for you. I'll see you in class. Class.